I am young. I was led by evil counselors. I beg your forgiveness, King Ragnar. Oh. Oh. I forgive you. If you haven't heard or noticed, let me spell this out to you. Nobody cares about weakness, and neither does society. If you are weak, depressed, small, poor, uneducated, unconfident, not powerful, then nobody cares. People only care about you when you're powerful or a pretty woman. You'll have to pull yourself up by their bootstraps. Men are not born, they are created. Poverty, difficulty, heartache, oppression, pain. These are the things that make men out of boys. This is why in a lot of cultures boys go through a stage of initiation. This is why boys come back from the military as men. Conflict and pain is what forges the masculine mindset. Men cannot grow without conflict and learning from their mistakes. Men need to apply their logical minds to problems which arise. Men are never born, they are always bred in the bloody fields of battle and war, be it economical, mental or physical. A man has learned to repress his fear so that he may overcome and achieve. You do not deserve beautiful women by nature of being a man. In fact, you do not deserve anything. There is no shortcut, there is no magic trick, one secret technique or woman hate. Here's something to drill into your mind. If there's one thing that people are all universally attracted to, it's power. Power comes in many forms and if you can cultivate your power, you will earn your way to having status and beautiful women in your life. A hard ripped body is a sign of physical power. A huge bank account, an impressive house is a sign of financial power. A large social circle or network is a sign of social power. A strong frame and witty speech is a sign of intellectual and mental power. Women are attracted to all these things. They are attracted to powerful men. In what way are you powerful? What power do you have in your life? If I can take a guess, most of you have no real power whatsoever. How do you expect to deserve women without being powerful? How do you expect people to admire and respect you without power? You can be powerful in a lot of different ways. Sure, you might be weak and small, but get rich and socially savvy, and you'll still display attractive levels of power. Sure, you might not be rich or strong, but get on the stage with your guitar and blow the socks off an audience, and you'll still display high levels of power. You will get nowhere in life without being powerful. All the most desired and attractive men are powerful. You must become that way. And you can only do that by working hard to achieve that power. I'm now going to go over the five trades of power and how you can achieve it for yourself. The first trait of power is physical power. Think about MMA fighters, boxers, even bodybuilders like Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you haven't noticed, the girls are all over them. On a subconscious, primal level, women and people feel safe around strong people. Can you take your shirt off and then we'll do another hug? This Are you is, happy? I'm, Are you happy? I'm extremely happy. It's just, I'm so happy. This is great. This is great. This feels so great. Yeah. I was just gonna just show him to the dressing room. Whatever the f you want. <laughs> Get her the mouth. Tap, let him go. <laughs> Wait, what's going no, on? No, I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, uh. You can, it's fine. That's what, uh. <laughs> They also want to win these strong guys over so that they may protect them in times of crisis. Not only do people feel safe around strong people, but having a strong body also shows unfakeable qualities of that person. It shows that the person has traits such as persistence, discipline and hard work. This trait is very straightforward and simple to obtain. Yet many people overcomplicate it. Get a workout program and stick with it. Hit the gym 3-5 to five days a week, every week, every month and every year. Once you make this a habit, it doesn't feel like work anymore. But remember, you can't out-train a bad diet. Slowly replace your bad foods with healthier foods. One month, slowly replace your white bread with brown bread. The next month, replace any sugary drinks with juice, and so on. If you have incorporated gym into your life as a habit, then you can start to incorporate new physical sports such as judo or boxing into your life. The next trait, financial power. Money is power. It buys you freedom and a lifestyle of your choice. A great deal of the population live from paycheck to paycheck. They have zero savings. They are also usually in debt. They will spend their money or go into debt to buy glamorous things that have no real value. Ultimately, there's only two main ways to have very strong finances. The first is to study hard for an in-demand high-paying degree. For example, doctors, engineers, etc. The second way is to start your own business. This will be a topic for a future video, but the bottom line is that the business you start should be within an industry you excel at and enjoy, because you will be spending a lot of time in that industry. 
third trait, social power. Think about all those DJs, bartenders, etc. They all have large connections and social networks, which makes them attractive to befriend. Increase your social power by going to more social gatherings and parties. If you don't have anywhere to start, invite your friends to a social place like a club or a bar, so that you naturally meet and befriend new people. You can also join hobby groups or a sport club or even a church group and build on it from there. When you start to make new connections, don't forget to add the number to your phone and on social media to keep yourself relevant to them so that you are not forgotten when they don't see you for a long time, which also increases the chances of them inviting you to a new events. The fourth trait, a high standing in a career or a hobby. Think about musicians and actors. Find a hobby you love and master it. Preferably hobbies that bring value to people, for example music or even cooking. The fifth trait, a strong frame and witty speech, is a sign of intellectual and mental power. Think about politicians or comedians. They're able to hold their frame and influence masses of people and opinions. Being able to shrug off insults and not be intimidated when people test you is a very strong and desirable trait. Women know that men with a strong frame will be able to cope under pressure and will not abandon her in hard times. To practice this ability, put yourself in uncomfortable situations, disagree with your friends and hold your frame. For example, at a party say that you aren't going to drink alcohol, then hold your frame if they challenge you. Or talk to people you don't normally talk to, for example, a guy you usually see at the gym or a co-worker that you never actually talk to. Put yourself in new social interactions. This will increase your social confidence and make you more charismatic. Thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel.